one day was reviewing the patients that came in on a particular afternoon uh, in anticipation of rounds the next morning. It was a young man with multiple sclerosis who was being admitted for chemotherapy because his disease had advanced too far. And we went in to examine the patient and there was something very familiar about him that I really couldn't remember. Uh, and then just as we were wrapping up with the residents, uh, he looked at me and he said, Mark, you really don't remember me, do you? And uh, at that point, he acknowledged, uh, I acknowledged that he was a, a co-graduate student with me many years before, and I had no idea he had MS. And uh, so we chased everyone out, we sat and talked caught up about things in the past, and he asked me, are you going to do research? Are you going to stay in the field? And I said, yeah, I just really had no idea what I was going to go and do. And he said, look at me, find something for this blast of disease. And uh, that day, I drove home from the, from the hospital. It was like the sky opened up and the sun shone. I said, I know what I want to do. When I came home and told my wife, I said, uh, I'm going to do MS research.